All right, I'm going to do this one again, uh, another one of these uh, per people's requests. So um, again, when we're trying to find the fourth term, all we're trying to do is figure out what this would all equal and then um, find just the fourth of those terms so we don't have to do all the steps. So the first pattern is going to be Pascal's triangle. Uh, do that in blue. The seventh row of Pascal's triangle, we know we have to do the seventh row because it's the power of seven, is 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. Um, remember, I could have gotten, I, could, I got this from doing uh, 7C0, then 7C1, all the way down to 7C7. After I did C1, C2, C3, C4, always starting with a 7. All right, so just to remind you where I got that information from. Um, the next part of the pattern is uh, from the first term, then to the power of 7, then 6, then 5, then 4. So 5x to the 7, 5x to the 5th, I mean 6th. And then I'm just going to put dot, dot, dot. So this is going to be to the 5th, to the 4th. And right here, that's what I need. I need the 4th term here. So it's going to be 5x to the 4th. This fourth here has nothing to do with this fourth. It just happens to be that the fourth term also happens to be a power of four on that one. So don't get that pattern twisted. Um, then finally I have the second term, positive three y to the power of zero. Then it's going to be to the power of one, then to the power of two. So this is what's important is three y to the power of three. So now I just have to figure out, okay, so now I've got this 35, um, and I've got the 5x to the power of 4, which is equal to, okay, let's see, 5 to the power of 4 is 625, so this is 625x to the 4th, and then 3y to the 3rd is going to be 27, because 3 to the 3 is 27, y to the third, and then I multiply this times this times this. So 35 times 625 times 27 is 590625. Yes, you're going to oftentimes get big numbers like that. And then x to the fourth y cubed. And that is all.